Ladies and uh, gentlemen, official guests, friends of uh, Canada and uh, Norway. It's a great honor for me as uh, mayor in the municipality of Os to welcome you all to this uh, commemoration here at Bagana Haugland. 75 years, it's a long period, but to see you all today reminds us of the significance of the events here in Os, Samnanga, Tysnes and Östervoll, late September and early October 1944. A special welcome to all the descendants after both the flight crew and the rescue men and women. This is uh, your commemoration and your weekend. Harvey Firestone, Ken Graham, George Grandy, George Deeth, Gordon Biddle, and Morris Neal. We can only imagine what they were thinking and feeling when first one and then both engines stopped on their Wellington aircraft and they were forced to make an emergency landing here on the western coast of Norway, a German-occupied country with hostile German soldiers everywhere. In a mysterious way, Captain Gordon Biddle managed to land and stop the plane in this terrain. And without major injuries to the crew. But of course, they were not safe. German soldiers had seen the crash and mobilized. A large rescue operation was at the uprising. And we will he hear more about the brave local citizens, the civilians, and the rescue operation later in the program. Despite the hopeless situation and the dangers they, they faced, the six Canadian men were safely back in England, unharmed, less than three weeks after the emergency landing. And now, today, 75 years later, we are together here to honor all who contributed in the rescue operation. We can safely say that the plane crash has built strong ties between US and Canada, between Norway and Canada as allied countries in NATO, and most important between descendants after the flight crew and the rescue group, between Canadians and Norwegians. In respect for both the flight crew and the rescue men and women, I will now, on behalf of the municipality, put down a flower on the memory plate. In remembrance of the rescue mission who started here at Hoagland on the 20th, 26th of September 1944. 